New York's attorney general is suing Donald Trump for $40 million, saying that his Trump University fraudulently claimed that it would make students rich and provide them with real estate apprenticeships. Here to defend the school is the dean of Trump University, Dean Thornsbury. Thank you so much for having me. Actually, I, I got to say, I'm surprised that Trump University has an actual dean. Well, we certainly do have a dean, as my name is Dean uh, Thornsbury. Dean. My first name is Dean. It's not a... We have students and teachers and everything. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Please don't use the term university, though. Due to a previous lawsuit, uh, our technical name is the Trump Entrepreneur Initiative. Oh, okay. And in New York State, we are registered as a drywall contractor. Huh. All right. Uh, so what services does your school... If, uh, your, uh, does your place yes. provide? It's a great place. Well, we provide an education in business and real estate. Uh, our students take classes and learn things and pursue degrees in several majors. Okay. Uh, why don't you give me an example? Well, uh, our most popular major is uh, Wealth in Class 101. How to register for Wealth in Class 201. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what is your second most popular major? Probably Banking 101. Oh, okay. That sounds legit. Yeah, of course it's legit. It's geared towards our savvier students who want to connect their checking accounts directly with the bursar's office for what we call automatic billing, perpetual oh. automatic billing. But, that, I mean, that sounds scammy again. Well, if that sounds scammy, answer me this. Why do we have a full college campus? Okay, where's your campus? It's in the spacious and tastefully appointed Function Room R at Donald Trump's world-famous Taj Mahal Casino in beautiful Atlantic City. Great cafeteria. Okay, and, and, and what do they serve at this cafeteria today? Unlimited peel and eat shrimp. Every day. And at Trump University, the learning never stops, so we teach classes even at the cafeteria. Really? Such as what? Well, Hospitality 101. You order a steak, you get a baked potato. What is this, Mexico? That's the name of the class. Wow, that's lovely. There's also a 21 and over cafeteria called Reflections. Uh, there's no food available there. Though, I did see a Japanese businessman once eat steak tips off a lady. So it's a strip club. Uh, because of our status as an educational institute, we need to call it a daycare facility for discerning gentlemen. You know, I'll be honest, it sounds like the attorney general might have a case. I mean, it doesn't seem like your, your customers slash students are, are actually learning anything or gaining any knowledge. Well, listen, we're passing along the Donald's wisdom that he's amassed in a lifetime of business. Okay, wait, what is uh, the Donald's most important tip? Uh, well, the thing he always says to me is make sure your dad gives you $300 million to start a business and then you lose most of it. We'll be right back. Uh, by the by, Mr. Trump wanted me to ask you why you don't wear cufflinks. Makes you look like a real no-class idiot. 